Hello everyone, welcome to the 14th episode of My Own Language Commentaries. Today I'll be starting with season 2 and we'll start with the first episode. Present if not correct. For those wondering who's this blonde late student, that's Ingrid, Daniel's new rival. Of course Daniel's not happy someone is a more hot shot than her, but if you think about it, Daniel's heart is more beautiful than Ingrid's. We don't really see Ingrid care about others except for herself. For herself. And those wondering who's the guy in the blue suit, that's Zoltan. Apparently he's the, the new version of Juan Cervantes. I'm surprised you enjoy those exotic Spanish dishes. I got food poisoning. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow, that's pretty sad. When I got food poisoning, the sun came out. <laughs> <laughs> when I got better, it went back in. <laughs> What an uneventful holiday Miss Courtney had. Apart from the day before we left, that was absolutely glorious. Well, at least Hang on, who's the we that Miss Courtney is talking about? I wonder who's the other person she brought along. Are you glad to be back? Oh yes, I shall miss my old class, but I'm looking forward to the challenge of starting again with fresh minds. I wonder how many different nationalities I'll have to deal with this term. And still no African student. I mean, the, cr the writers could have added a new African student inside and maybe added an oceanic student, someone from the Pacific Islands, and maybe someone from the, from the Americas, like someone from Mexico or someone from Brazil. This will have made the class very, very diverse, although his class is not super diverse as it should be. Do you speak any English? Hungry. Hungry? Yeah. <laughs> What's on to eat? <laughs> Land. Hungry. Oh, Hungarian. Yeah, Budapest, eh? All right, so, this is the very a bit of a very lame joke that someone say I'm from Hungary. I say are you hungry? It's no, it's a bit of how to say a pronunciation joke. But anyway, when you say mention Budapest, Budapest, it is, that's where he's come from. Budapest is the capital of Hungary. Right, I am Mr. Brown, your teacher. <laughs> to be honest, it's creative of the writers to make him use his Facebook as a way to communicate, but. I don't think, but sadly Zoltan is not seen again after this, episode, this season, but, and Miss Scotty says why, but I feel that he could, throughout the series, he could have developed his character much better than what it currently is. Can any Hungarian speakers please translate what he said? Thanks. Good shave the queen. Good shave the queen. Wow, that's it. Sounds a little bit, a little bit wrong. God save the queen. Yes, Lord. God save the queen is the national anthem of the United Kingdom. More English. Please, thank you. Good. Well Stones. Stones. I can't get no satisfaction. I can't get no satisfaction. That is, I wonder what song from the Rolling Stones it came from. We may have to look it up later. Like Robert and Bruce said, if at first you are not succeeding, try, try. <laughs> Again. If at first you are not The joke was, he, Mr. Brown's meant, if, first, at first, if at first you are not succeeding, try and try again. But when he, when he said, like, Mr. Brown said again, Reggie thought that he had, when Mr. Brown wanted him to repeat the same saying. So, yes. Now, this time I sit at the front, then I shall be learning Kveka. Good. <laughs> so that is going to be the next victim of Anna's hitting. First of, consider Harry Carey. Then of, decide to come back for more lessons. <laughs> if not pass next time, and me! <laughs> Just make sure you don't do it on the classroom floor. The fact Harold does not appear after season 3 makes me wonder, did he commit Harry Carey or did he actually passed the exam and he went on with his life. I'm not too sure about that though. Jamila, you want your place back, yo? No, no. I sit at that side with Taro. Ah. And here starts the friendship of Taro and Jamila. He doesn't speak any English. Ah, sorry. I teach him. <laughs> Why would you teach him when you, you yourself failed a, a, the exam? So it's not really appropriate for him to teach Zoltan. But, you know, later, Zoltan learns English from Duan and Giovanni. So it's not, it's not that surprising. That would be like the blind leading the blind. Blind? You see? <laughs> hey, you fit, you fit. No. 
Please not lie, I'm just using a figure of speech. But yes, just like Giovanni, Guan has issues understanding figures of speech. And what it means, the blind leading the blind means, it means that basically someone who doesn't know anything is leading someone else who doesn't know anything. So it's the person who's not qualified to teach another person who has no idea what is it is, just like him. So yes. I here come to English learn. I come here to learn English. We together say <laughs> Ingrid really thought that Mr. Brown is also a student. But she Mr. Brown was merely correcting her English. And sadly, in season 4, Ingrid's grammar remains the same. I think this is her way of speaking English in a Swedish style. Yeah, well, I am your teacher. <gasps> teacher? You are too young to be teacher. Does Ingrid think that teachers have to be 40, 50 years old? And hey, what is your job? Au pair. Which one? Oh, no. <laughs> so is she the third au pair in the series? First, we have Anna as an au pair. Then we have Daniel as an au pair. Now we have Ingrid, who is also an au pair. Ron is very happy because he gets a hot shot girl sitting next to him. Because at the in season one, if we, if you remember, he he sits alone. Now he got someone to sit with, so that's something new for him. But I'm getting twenty out of one hundred. Sadly, this is the only score that was explicitly revealed in the series. Ali got twenty out of one hundred for his exam, but every the other nine students, their results are not show are not revealed. So. There needs to be some reason why the other three scores were not reviewed. Though it would be very nice if they were reviewed so that we can figure out who's smartest and who's not that's really that smart. You get at least 50 marks to pass 20 is disgraceful. Oh no, last year I'm not getting anything at all. <laughs> wow, Ali's been so optimistic, even if though he failed. Get your big Spanish bottom out of my chair! <laughs> you talk to me like that, I punch. No, but this is the first ever Ali and Guan fight and, or argument. For a Sarah! Hey, Sarah! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's just like whole time! Prove that Giovanni, Daniel and Max has now become a trio, a friendship trio. Hey. I don't like you. That's it, Barry. The start of the the start of the first female rivalry in the entire series. And suddenly the, this rivalry is not doesn't have a like a good ending because in the next season, Ingrid, you know, is not in season three anymore. So, and we have no, there's no, there's no, there isn't a scene where both of them bury the hatchet, which is to say, to make make amend, to make amends and and start and stop being rivals. You know, if you know what I'm saying. Exactly. Out of ten students, I have nine failures. Hey, sorry, I'm late. Congratulations. You are getting ten out of ten. <laughs> Hang on. Was Suli shopping? And does it does that doesn't that go against her ideals where she said that we're, we're still in merchandise if you merchandise is still by capitalist traders and second Alice wasn't get so optimistic about if he gets meeting his friends again but Mr Brown is not happy because you have all failed I have failed no. oh, it's perfectly true he's right because he failed to teach them English properly and that's that's why all his tech students failed. So he's speaking the tr the cold hard truth. He finally fixed his why. It was not no longer a seven. Good job, Mr. Brown. <laughs> now one is six is sucking up to Mr. Brown. I went on a fishing holiday. Oh, good. Did you catch anything? Catch heavy, cold. <laughs> I think he meant that he fell ill and got the flu. The examiner man was jumping out of the car. <laughs> and I was going down a hill. <laughs> I expect you were going too fast. Oh no, I was going backwards. <laughs> wow, that's really unhinged. So he went down the slope downwards. The examiner ex get get out of the car, and Ali is still stuck in the car. But seriously, what happened to the car? <laughs> what sort of book are you like writing? <laughs> oh, the democratic way of life. All about royal freedom, love in Chinese. Chairman Mao will be so proud. Japan, he's been sent to prison for something he didn't do. Really? What didn't he do? He didn't run fast enough. <laughs> That's a common answer for almost every criminal. But I really wonder what did his, how to say, cousin-in-law do to get let himself in jail in prison? I met this fantastic girl. She had the biggest. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think we know what he meant, but yes. <laughs> and of course, if he was he explicitly said that, 
the show will not be a PG will not be SC16 or P13. It will probably be M18. Ah, what mystery you know that? Oh, so you are enjoying your nerve and the air at the bottom of the sun. It's something that you call it. Elvinek vendégből ahol van egy kis cigány zene, és jó magyar bor, és megmutatnám neki, hogy milyen az igazi magyar férfi. Can once again could any Hungarian speakers please translate what he just said? It will help us all understand the context better. Thank you. Remember in season one episode six, Mr. Brown literally called called Miss Courtney a cow by putting a cow bear over her neck? Well, this is the same thing, except she he said it explicitly as pompous old cow. Sure, I speak a darn alien. Football, Igor. Football. Puskas. Pele. Kempis. Beckenbauer. Bobby Lee Shelton. Bobby Lee Moore. Hey! You see, I told you I speak the language. <laughs> that Giovanni is pretty charming. In China, rules are not important. It is blames and interact that matter. Absolutely. Yeah, Suli is right. Suli, uh, Suli make a very valid point. I'm double the other one. We apologize for the misprint in our earlier edition. <laughs> da -da -da -da. You see, I thought I'd won it. <laughs> <laughs> hold you in my arms and kiss you. <laughs> so Mr. Brown swapped. Zoltan's letter for his letter and gave Miss Courtney Zoltan's letter while he gave Zoltan his letter. Wow, that's quite some confusion. He's just going to give the letter you write to Miss Courtney to his girlfriend. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, so Zoltan's girlfriend beat him up and broke up with him, but she's, she, must be, she looks pretty strong as so as Anna or Miss Hardiker. That's only like a. I don't know, I'm not going to say. I'm just saying that Zoltan was beating up. Beating up was beating up, beating up badly by his girlfriend. He really said, Mr. Miss jo Miss Girl Brown kept his job, but at the expense of Ms. Zoltan breaking up with his girlfriend and him and Zoltan getting beaten up by her. What a twist. Well, that's it for episode 14 of Maya Language Commentaries. Thank you all for watching. Uh, and I hope to finish season two by the end of this week, since there's only eight episodes. And same goes for and for season three, there's also eight episodes. And season four, there's only one episode available to us. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you real soon. Bye bye.